It's incredibly interesting. The fifth commandment says, "Honor your father and mother, that it may go well with you, and you shall live long in this land." Paul wrote in Ephesians or Galatians that this is the only command, the only commandment of the Lord that comes with a promise. Now, Westminster's Catechism has has、uh, exegeted that your father, and mother. In the narrow sense, it's only for father and mother, but for the broad sense, it means honor your superiors. In other words, inferiors honor the superiors. Now, I don't like the word inferior superiors,、um, but that's how they coin it. It doesn't mean the inferior、uh, com- complex, inferiority complex, and stuff like that. But it's more like junior and senior. It's like a You respect the elders. They kind of culture it fits very well with Asians and and Africans and Latin Americans, for example. Not so much with the Anglo-Saxon culture. Yeah, that has much. That has been much、uh, devoured by the、uh, Enlightenment, etc. So, what what I read from John Frame's book is that、uh, it is. It, 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 the, the honor your father and mother commandment comes with the eternal, well, come, comes with a covenantal promise of blessings, a long life, and all this. And so he basically, if you look at other places, like husbands, like wives, honor and submit to your husbands, while husband. Love your wives. It's always come with two double-edged sword. You know, it's almost like always double-sided, a double-edged sword. It's not like you just submit. The superior doesn't just bully over. No, this is exactly not God's word. I do, I do find that it's very、uh, empowering, enlivening. Uh, that frame expounded that way that the fact that、um, wives submit to the husbands, husbands to love their wives, just like Christ loved the church and died for the church. This is, so there's absolutely, subs no qualms about, it. no quarrel like、um, uh, the, that sense of、uh, fear and anxiety. On it anymore per se, because because it always works both ways, you know.、Uh, like like Jesus, I'm your master, but I'm gonna wash your feet now. See, so now so now he go and wash his feet, wash the disciples' feet, and then and then he say to the disciples, I'm your master, yet I wash your feet. You see what I'm doing? Washed in one another's feet, essentially. What he's, what he's saying, what is he saying that you need to、um, honor one another and love one another? He, you see, he is the master, and yet he serves. So how difficult it is to to honor a master like Jesus? Because he washed your feet. You see this 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 double-sided thing concept、uh, in 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 the book of in the in, in the Bible when Jesus said honor your father and mother the father and mother served the children you know how much father and mother good parents sacrifice for the children some single mom or even married mom take two jobs and to.、Uh, To send the kids to good schools, colleges, whatnot. I have gone through it myself, so I know. Oh, my mom has gone through it, so I know. You know. So there is a reason for God to tell us to honor your parents, because He works both ways. So we know that our parents love us. Honor your master. Honor your pastor. Honor your leader. And the leader is supposed to do serving, 
the members. It goes both ways so that it is not difficult. It's a beautiful thing. Amen.